about being being Wednesday then. It, you've got amazing blonde curly hair. Yeah, How, where does that go? <laughs> it all gets pin curled and squashed and squidged underneath a, a black wig, the iconic black plaits. Uh, but yeah, no, Wednesday is uh, very different. Uh, looks wise to me um, she's kind of clad in black velvet and black corsets and stuff I was just saying I you know like to dress as un Wednesday as I can outside of work when I have to come in and get into the corset again <laughs> but what is it like to play such an iconic role almost it's just I mean it's amazing there is that that sort of uh little bit of apprehension before you go into a, a job like this where you, you know so many other women have played this role and done it so well to the point where it's now an iconic character um, but everyone loves the Adams family and this is a slightly different story where now Wednesday is 18 years old she's grown up so it's a Wednesday that we've never seen before and she's fallen in love with a a normal boy from a normal family um, and she's just bonkers she's absolutely mad which is something I've never done before so she's a lot of fun to play and she's not the only mad one in the in the troop is yet I mean not everybody well knows sure. the uh, the kooky family themselves yes. amazing cast as well yes yeah we've got Les Dennis playing Uncle Fester who is uh, undoubtedly quite crazy um, on stage and off uh, and there's Samantha Womack who is playing Morticia who is again like me very very blonde and then is you know you look at her and think so at the Womack, Morticia, and then she gets into the costume and we're like, no one else could play that role, possibly. <laughs> and we've got Cameron Blakely, the hilarious Cameron Blakely playing Gomez. Um, it's so difficult to keep a straight face when he's on stage. And obviously people love and know the this TV series, the films. Obviously you've got all the amazing characters, but what's different about the, the musical, would you say? Um, well, we've, uh, we've got the introduction of uh, three new characters called the Biney Keys, who are um, Wednesday's boyfriend's family. And this whole show is based around Wednesday and Lucas um, and their families meeting on this one fateful night when things go horrendously wrong. Uh, and it's about uh, the hilarity that ensues. Mm -hmm. Sounds amazing. Yeah. What what is the kind of the thing that you enjoy the most about kind of getting to play this this kind of amazing kooky family? Um, wielding a crossbow on stage is quite fun. Yeah, I've wow. uh, Wednesday's <laughs> kitted out. Yeah, she's got a big crossbow and an arrow and a, a very cool backpack that's in the shape of a coffin with her quiver on the side. Um, yeah, she's a. Uh, quite badass in this version she's very very feisty um and I've, yeah i've never played a character like that who gets to run around shooting people with a crossbow it's great and so obviously um it's starting this week isn't it people can come if people haven't got tickets yet what would you say to them why would you sell it to me uh this show is unlike anything uh, that there has ever been before it's kooky crazy um it's a real it's so funny it's a real good laugh and a real good night out but it's got so much heart and it's such a beautiful story and there's so many poignant moments in it that will really you know, make you cry and sort of tug at your heartstrings. Like for instance, there's a moment between Gomez and Wednesday where, you know, kooky family, Adam's family aside, it's just a song about a father who doesn't know how to let go of his daughter that's growing up. And I know my dad cried when he watched it and I'm, uh, I don't think there'll ever be a, a, a dry eye in the house when he sings that song.